with one day to go to the World Championship 2023, Jamaica's Geneve Russell, Andrinette Knight, and Rochelle Creighton. Is the impossible dream possible in the women's 400 meter hurdles? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Good to go. Well, for the first time in Jamaican track and field history, as far as I'm aware, Jamaica has three women who are within the top 10, in fact, in the top six of the fastest women for the 2023 season over the women's 400 meter hurdles. These, of course, include the national champion, Geneve Russell, in that event, as well as Andrinette Knight, the third fastest female in the world for the 2023 season, and Jamaica's remarkable Rochelle Clayton. So, is it possible for Jamaica to get two women or even one woman on the podium at this upcoming World Championship 2023 in the women's 400 meter hurdles event? Some say, can the impossible dream become possible? Oh, in a 400 meter hurdles environment without Sydney McLaughlin, the incredible world record holder, and with Femme Cabal firmly planted at number one in the world for the 2023 season. Of course, Femme Cabal's world leading time is 51.45 with Britton Wilson of the United States in at 53.23 and Janet Knight of Jamaica in at 53.26. Noted people, noted. Number three, 51, 53, 53.26 and Janet Knight. Shamir Little in at number four at fifty-three point three four. Dahili Mohammed with fifty-three point five three in at number five. At number six is Jamaica's national champion, the remarkable Geneve Russell, uh, with fifty-three point six five. And in at number seven is Jamaica's Rochelle Clayton with fifty-three point seven nine. Do I think the impossible is possible in terms of us placing two women? um on that podium or even one woman on the podium this year for the women's 400 meter hurdles at the upcoming world championships and i think the answer is yeah i think it's highly highly possible given what i've observed recently now we cannot knock the depth of the talent that we have seen and we have not really seen the jamaicans race race against a britain wilson but we have seen her seen them run against uh delita muhammad uh, we have seen them run against Shamir Little and we have seen them run against uh, Fem Kebal. In fact, in Fem, Fem Kebal's uh, world leading time race, remember that one? I think this might have been at the London Diamond League. Am I correct? Yes, of course I'm correct. Um, Femme Cabal, of course, ran that 51.45, still the world lead with Geneve Russell coming second with 53.75. Shamir Little of the United States uh, coming third with 53.76. Rochelle Clayton coming in fourth with 53.97. I'm a 51.45. Femke Ball striding towards the line. Let's keep it out of the clock. Penultimate barrier. Clock. Penultimate barrier is safely negotiated. One more to go. One more to go. Can she get over it neatly? Yes, she can. Nice and clean. Now it's lights out for tap for the line. Keep it out of the clock. Now this, alongside many other races, demonstrated how com competitive the Jamaican um, athletes are, meaning uh, Rochelle Clayton, Geneve Russell, uh, although she wasn't involved in this instance, Anjanette Knight, who we've seen her compete against some of these top tier athletes. In fact, they're all clearly top tier athletes. So is the impossible dream possible? 
in a recent interview now people i don't normally share interviews this long but i thought you should i think you should listen to the entire interview because in this instance we get to hear the thoughts of the national champion Geneve russell speak on whether or not she believes herself and Jeanette knight knight russell clayton and if the three of them are all three of them are, are two of the three of them could actually make that make that podium in the world championships which happens in budapest starting tomorrow yeah, um, it's been the prep that I want. I've been having good training session, which means there's no injuries. There's just it's a good energy in the camp, and I'm just really grateful that I'm here at this point. I've been feeling it all this year. It doesn't matter who gets the medal, but I've always had confidence that Jamaica can be on the podium. And I'm just really excited this year that the ladies have been putting in the work. They have been performing throughout the um, Dama League uh, scene. So I'm expecting greatness from Team Jamaica, especially in the 400 meter hurdles. It's truly a blessing. Um, the reason why I feel that way is it's all about growth. These ladies have been competing with each other throughout the years, been past three years now. So it's all about growth. I feel like it's growth in the event and I'm really excited and that's all the strength is coming from. They're getting stronger, they're training better and they're performing well and they're getting used to the circuit and they're hungry for it and we're all hungry for it. So that's what growth is coming from. So I would describe it as grace. I have to give my season grace. I have started it off very slow. Um, I wasn't really confident in the first part of the season based on the times I was running and then to come out and been running 53 consistently at the latter part, not really the latter part, but in the middle of the season. It's been beautiful and I'm just trying to be very content with whatever results I get to it and be very patient and just continue to work hard and be home. Uh, the switch turned on I think a couple weeks before trials, probably two weeks or three weeks when I started to tap in mentally because I know that I put in the work physically in the background season. So two weeks before trials, yeah. Was that 400 meter run in the, in the championships, how important was that for you um, to at least, you know, get that kind of technique and that kind of that strength? Oh, as I said before, um, I started off slow. I didn't get much flat races in, so I used that 400 at the Jamaica trials to get in that race. And it was really a confident booster for me. I was really happy to come up with a personal best and just hoping I can get some flat races at the end of the season. Any card can play, anything can happen. Um, track and field is an unpredictable sport, so I'm just taking it as it comes. And um, how I take the rounds is how I approach training. So I'm just looking for the best. Yeah, I've been working very hard. I always want to be on the podium at the World Championship or the Olympic Games in an individual um, event. I have done it for the relays. And it would mean a lot to me to show that the hard work that I put in um, the belief that I have in myself, the Lord, of course, and my coach, it would be so spectacular for me. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. To answer the question we ourselves asked, is the impossible dream possible? Meaning, can Jamaica place one or two or even three persons on the podium in the finals with the women's 400 meter hurdles at this year's World Championships 2023, which starts tomorrow in Budapest? And the answer is unequivocally yes. The very fact is, we are now taking on the top, the other top tier athletes, Shamir Little and others. The only athlete that I don't believe our, our top three has run against is Britton Wilson. Now, I believe Femme Cabal has a lock on that gold medal. Of course, it's a track and field, anything is possible. But I do believe that either Andrinette Knight, Rochelle Clayton, or Geneve Russell will make the podium. And I believe there's a high possibility that one will bring the other so i believe that we can get a silver and a bronze there this is this is my prediction this is my feeling and i think the person closest to winning that that um silver medal will either be geneve russell and or andrew at night but this of course is my two cents i'd love to hear your thoughts now don't forget this is up to about the hit no show the bell hit the like but remember your royals your kings and queens bless up